error? I can't press- I can't click on anything. Oh my god! Yeah, this is Sean Dix! Uh, 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 uh. Windows protected your PC. Run anyway! I'm reckless! Warning, this game contains loud noises, flashing images, disturbing imagery, and sensitive topics. Um, so warning. Warning. 98XX. I have no idea what this is. Ah. It's a, basically a, a computer program. Welcome to 98XX. It is a computer program, and um, I don't really know much more about it. I actually really don't. I didn't even read the description on it. Login. No password? Not. Oh, wow, this looks so old. Yo, when I was like, I don't know, like 10 or whatever, not even 10, maybe like seven. The family computer looked like this. Okay, so we have Jumpin' Julian, Surfer, Pixel Paint, Puzzle Patterns, Ball Popper, Documents, Photo Gallery, Questions and Answers game. And then we have other things here. Okay, let's start with, um, I'm kind of curious. What's in the photos? Okay, is this the guy that owns the computer? These are some whack pictures. What is that? Oh my goodness! What? 749. Why are you staring at me like that? Should I be writing this down? Oh my goodness. I'm going to write this down. Wait, was there other clues in here? Was I supposed to click anything back here? 749. Is that a code for something? Oh my goodness. Why did it launch right into some scariness? Why was that so scary already? Okay, you know what? I want something nice and calm. Just questions and answers. See how many questions you can answer. Okay, cool. Do you like to play games? Yes. Do you think it's important to take breaks when playing too much? Yes. Do you think video games will take over the world? No. Have you played this game before? No. Are you sure you're playing a game? Yes. Do you know what reality is? Yes. Are you close with your family? Yes. Do you think even loved ones could hurt each other? No. If someone were to get into a fatal accident with a death be paid? Yes. People who do not repent of their sins are condemned. I don't even know how to answer this. Do you believe everything I say? No. Have you looked behind? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, I looked behind me. Time is short. No, it's too late. No. What? 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 Oh my goodness. What the? What? Oh my goodness, wait, I gotta readjust myself. It just started over. It, it shut off the whole PC. Well, not my PC, but it shut off the whole program. Why are these jump scares actually scary? I'm not doing that questions and answers game again. Let's go to documents. Oh, 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 this is the document, 749, right? Oh, a secret one, but let's read the other ones. Oh, wow, this is long. I don't feel like reading this. Oh my goodness, are you ready, ready to be a part of a game studio, studio that pushes the boundaries, boundaries of creativity and innovation that go further than Calvis Games is a leading game development company? We are committed to delivering high-quality games that captivate players and with the next ordinary world. Why choose Calvis Games? Uncompromising quality. Calvis Games are top priorities to create games with quality. Okay, no. Dear Calvis Games team, I am writing to you as a concerned parent regarding my son and his increasing addiction to your games. As a responsible game studio, I kindly request your assistance in addressing this issue. I understand that parental control and guidance play a crucial role in managing my son's gaming habits, but I believe that the involvement and support of Calvis Games could make a significant difference. Did she really just write a whole email to a game development company because her son is addicted to games? Wait a minute, there's codes here. This is an eight. Wait a minute. Go back. There was a three in here. There was a three in here. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a number in this one? Hold on. There's a three and there's an eight. Five, three, eight. Okay, 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 we're in this, we're in this. And what about this one? This is a secret one. Subject, police report, fatal car accident caused by a drunk driver. Description of incident. On August 12th, 1998, a tragic car accident occurred. The accident involved two vehicles, a blue sedan driven by a mother and a black pickup truck, bleh, a black pickup truck driven by a man in his 30s. According to eyewitnesses, the truck was traveling at a high speed and swerving across lanes prior to the collision. The blue sedan carrying a mother and her daughter was proceeding in the correct lane when the truck abruptly collided with it from the side. 
As a result of the collision, both the mother and her daughter sustained critical injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately dispatched to the scene. The victims were transported to the hospital. Unfortunately, despite the efforts of medical personnel, both the mother and her daughter succumbed to their injuries at the hospital and were pronounced deceased. So wait, is there a secret number in this too? Or no? Okay, let's do another number. Let's do 538. Oh, another secret one. Okay. Another incident report. Break-in and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery. Okay. On February 18th, 1999, at approximately 12.34 a.m., a break-in and disturbance was reported at Greenwood Cemetery. I responded to the call and arrived at the scene at approximately 1.36 a.m. Upon arrival, I met with the reporting party who stated they had witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. The witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot, escaping any apprehension. Upon arrival at the scene, I conducted a preliminary investigation. I observed that exactly two disturbed grave sites where soil had been dug up. Is that the, um... Is that the two daughter? The mom and the daughter? I don't know if there's any other secrets. Ball popper! Hey! This is the game that the, the kid was addicted to? This is the game the kid is addicted to? Hey! 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 Ah! Uh, I used to play um, a game like this on um a Blackberry. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 I'm a gamer, I'm a gamer, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer, 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 I'm a gamer. Hey, listen, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, ah, ball popper, playing with party toppers, I'm a showstopper, you could call me hopper, uh, 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 hey, listen to me as I slay, hey, well done, are you having fun, yeah. We gonna keep on going till it's done. Ay, ay, ay. Listen. Uh, yeah. Uh, so seriously, how long is this game? It's the same every time I play this. It doesn't change at all. It's kind of basic. Uh, uh, how long is this? Are they, do they just want us to be addicted to this? Addicted to winning? What happens if I lose? What if I lose? What if I lose? What if I lose? Come on. Uh-oh. What happens if it, what happens if I lose? What? What is that? <laughs> what? What? I'm not listening to that. It closed the whole program again. This thing is glitchy and buggy. Match all the shape patterns. What does that mean? All right, pixel paint. Oh, we could draw something. Ooh, let's draw me. This is looking like me. Great, cool. And my eyes and my glasses. Isn't that cute? It looks just like me, doesn't it? Surf the web in style. Well, that's boring. Let's play Jumping Julian. Dreamer Studios. Okay. Why does this guy look like Baldi? Hello there. Okay. My name is Julian, and I am very happy you are playing with me. Hi, I love Julian. When people play with me. Hi. Use the arrow keys and space bar to help me make my way up to the top. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's easy enough. Can I double jump? Oh, I can't double jump. But I mean, he, he jumps pretty far. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, now you did it. The next level. This okay. A bit tougher, we can still do it. Make it through. Yeah, you'll make it. You'll make it. I got you, bro. Uh oh. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, you now did it. The next level. Now this looks challenging. You got this. I you got this. this. You can do this. I love how confident he is. Yep, yep. Come on. He's so confident and so cute. All right. There you go. A fatal exception. What? 
What? Bro, I was doing so well too. What? I was doing so well. Why can't I open the game anymore? Whoa! What's up? Why are you levitating? It seems that a problem has occurred. But what? do not worry as I have fixed the game and made it even better. What? What? I do have something to ask. What? Do you ever wonder if there's an afterlife? Why are you asking me it's this? something I really been thinking about. Huh? Well, anyway, let's play the game. Why'd you open the game yourself? What in the world? What is going on? Finally, a brand new challenge. Uh oh. This should be fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not better. This is more. This is not more fun. This is not more fun. This is not more fun. Yeah, I did it. Now on to the next level. Oh boy, here comes a real challenge. Okay, Let's okay. Let's do this. I mean, I mean, at least you're still positive. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness! That sound effect is so loud. Come on. Oh my goodness! No, this is actually ridiculous. Come on, bro. Oh my goodness! He's glitching. I hate it here! Yeah, oh my it. goodness! Now on to the next level. The end is near, and yet so far. We can do this, we can do this. Oh my goodness. What? Bro! No way! No way is this crashing again! You're gonna make it more difficult? That was already difficult enough as it was! I barely made it through that! You know what I realized? Did it always say my name? Wait, I- wait, 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 wait! Did it always say my name? I'm sorry, did it say my name the whole time? Cause I thought it just said welcome. Am I tripping or did it just say welcome before? Um... Error? I can't press- I can't click on anything. OH MY GOODNESS! I can't do anything! What? Do you ever wonder why that happens? Uh, 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 no, 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 what the, what? Please? Whoa, whoa, that changed, that changed, that changed, that changed. What? What? Oh my goodness! I don't want to do this again! Now it's not saying my name anymore! I knew it! No, yo, I'm so serious. I knew something was weird. I was like, I don't think it said my name before. Can I play this again? Is it normal now? Is it normal now? Please tell me it's normal. Hello there. It seems normal. I don't think anything changed with that. I mean, I guess the only thing we didn't do was search the internet. Razai, Razi in 1991, Bob Carter founded Razi, which is a computer chip industry. That's boring. Not interested. Mirrors.com has taken the world by storm with the launch of their newest computer, the 98XX, which is a, you know, it's a, it's a computer, which is really cool. New game takes the world by storm. Oh, this is the, Ju the jumping Julian. In recent months, a new game has taken the internet by storm. Captivating the attention of kids and adults alike. Jumping Julian, created by Dreamer Studios and developed by John Munker, is a platform that gained immense popular- Oh wait, there's a seven! Eight, nine? 
They're saying it's easy to pick up but difficult to master, making players want to keep trying until they beat a level. However, as with any popular game, parents are skeptical, skeptical about the impact it may have on other children. Blah, blah, blah. Seven, eight, nine. That's what we care about. Where do we put seven, eight, nine? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Seven, eight, nine. Now it's uh, giving me a new code. Four, five, six. Maybe it needs to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Okay, I clicked on them. That didn't do anything. Should I do it more? All of them? Seven, eight, nine. Um. Oh, a new article. The mysterious disappearance of Jason Storm from Rosie Inc. This is the picture we saw. In, 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 um. Oh, there's more numbers. In early October 1998, Jason Storm, an employee of Rossi Inc. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Storm, a promising young engineer, was last seen headed to the company <gasps> warehouse where he was scheduled to work on a new project when he failed to return his colleagues where his alarm and his search was launched. However, despite an intensive investigation, no trace of Storm has ever been found. The disappearance of Jason Storm remains a mystery to this day and has left his family, friends, and colleagues with many unanswered questions. Basically, he disappeared. But I see more numbers here. Should I click on them? The rise and fall of Jumping Julian, a cautionary tale of game development. Stop it! Stop it! In the world of video games, success can be fleeting. One day you're the talk of the town, the next year yesterday's news. This was the case for Jumping Julian, the once popular game created by John Monkford that quickly fell out of favor due to harsh feedback. Jumping Julian was initially greeted with excitement and anticipation. The game promised a unique platforming experience with vibrant visuals and engaging gameplay. However, as players began to spend more time with the game, they started to notice some serious design flaws. One of the biggest complaints was the game's annoying gameplay. Exactly! Exactly! Players found themselves getting stuck on obstacles and dying frequently, leading to a sense of frustration and boredom. Exactly! The poor design choices were not lost on players, and reviews for the game were overwhelmingly negative. One person in particular, Jason Storm, who left a negative review on it, who disappeared, left an extremely harsh review that left John Monkford heartbroken and depressed. The negative feedback proved to be too much for Monkford, who struggled to cope with the criticism. After a few months, he decided to leave the game development business and pursue other opportunities. Then Monkford landed a job at Razi Inc., a, co a company known for innovative computer chips. Wait, so Monkford, who made this game, went to Razi Inc., who made computer chips. What? Honestly, I don't know what's going on, but I will say this. I will say this. My Yo, I just want to say this. I got something to say to you, Julian. You're looking whack, and you looking flat. Uh, listen, you look kind of tacky. Uh, looking kind of wacky. Three hairs in the top of your head. Yeah, it's looking floppy. Floppy, bird. Uh, yeah, you know what you heard. Uh, listen, you're done. You're through. I'm going to say... Pet chew, sneeze on ya. Yeah, I'ma sneeze. Say bless you, nah. Uh, bless me. Uh, hey. Uh. Well, um, that was a interesting experience. I, I honestly think I had so many jump scares in that, like a lot of jump scares. Um, I have no idea what the lore is, but um, you know, that was definitely an experience. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the squad, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Shotty's up in here. This is an anthem. Up in the room. Still the beauty with a man.